does it amaze you at how much affection people have for you? Uh, kind of. It's, it, it, it surprises me that there's like such a relationship. And I think it's based on the fact that I was a second banana. There are a lot more second bananas in the world than there are chiefs. So the, all the second bananas, then there's a lot of them out there, feel like they know me very well. And also my style, I think. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm approachable. You can walk up to me and it's not a big deal. I don't arrive with 13 people, you know, and I'm not, no one's carrying my wardrobe, I'm carrying my wardrobe. And I think that has an effect on people. They feel that you're a regular guy. And I learned a lot of that in the military, because you're in the military, you're counting on the next guy to you. You know, if he falls apart, he can hurt you. So you count on other people. So when I come on a set, it's the same way I feel. I'm working with a lot of people, but we're all making that same contribution to get the job done. So I think people recognize that, and, and people recognize somebody that's a professional. They really appreciate somebody that knows what they're supposed to do and, and does it, gets the job done. You know, I'm hearing a lot of here's Johnny's and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. on the set. <laughs> when, when you walk into a room, what kind of, what are the more common comments you hear yelled out? Oh, well, I get, you are correct, sir. You know, Phil Hartman, I, I don't re even remember saying that, but he at least made it more famous than I ever made it. And the, of the yes, you know, so I must have done it because he picked it up and made it more famous than I did. And it was funny when uh, Phil Hartman, when he, we, he and I got to be great friends, when he would come to the house, to visit me for dinner. He'd, we'd invite him, his wife and my wife are very close friends. Anyway, at the doorway, as I opened the door, he'd be doing me in the doorway better than I could do me. <laughs> but that's the big one now. You are correct, sir, and yes. Yeah. Well, one of, one of the, the, the funny aspects about this show is, is you're co-starring with, uh, with Joan Rivers. Yes. And, I, and it was, it's, it's ancient history, but the one time Joan Rivers had her own talk show. Oh, yeah, well, yes, And, sure. uh, you know, the, it was competing with Johnny Carson yeah, and all that. Yeah. Are, do you two, are you two talking about that time? Not uh, really, because we, had, we addressed that a long time ago. I was at uh, a famous restaurant out in California, Spago, and she walked in, and there were a lot of people there who happened to be from The Tonight Show. Everybody was afraid to approach. You know, they didn't know what was going on, a little rivalry. I walked over and gave her a big hug and a kiss, and she's got that in her book. She talks about that in her book. So that, you know, that, that was discarded. I don't uh, worry about those things. So we met, we met the other day and got a, you know, big hug and, and a kiss. So, and I've lived her life. You know, when she started as a, she started out as a, lady comedian when there weren't many lady comedians coming out and doing her little bit, you know, in front of that old funny looking curtain we used to have. You know, as Johnny said, how'd it be a curtain that got laughs? So we had a funny looking curtain. Now she came and she did her uh, stand. Then she moved over to the chair. Then she moved over to the hosting. Then she, so I've grown up. She was on the show when she thought she was pregnant. She was on the show when she was pregnant. She was on the show when Melissa was born. So I've grown up with her. Okay. Well, a question that you mentioned, Johnny Carson. Yes. Now, you stayed in the public eye. He's he's yes. kind of being much lower profile. Yes. So many people would love to see you two uh, together again. I know it's the question you're asked a lot, but do you think at one point you and he will appear together again on TV? The only show that we'll ever do together, we already did. I went out to see him a few weeks ago when my book came out because he did the introduction to my book. So I went out to thank him and give him the second copy. I gave the first copy to my wife. I went out to bring him the second one. His office is above a restaurant in Santa Monica. I went out, we visited, he showed me some things. It was like old times, it was great. So we went down to go down for lunch. We both got on the elevator and we started down and the elevator door opened and a man walked in. And you know how you walk in an elevator, people are like, I don't know, they're shy or they're embarrassed. People feel funny in elevators, if you notice. When they walk in, they don't look at anybody. You know, it's like they gotta do it. They gotta get in the elevator and get out. So this guy walks in and he's like, you know, kind of doing like you're doing. He just kind of glances and he says, oh my God, oh my God. And I thought the guy was gonna faint. He said, you two together again. Well, I mean, that's it. That's the only show we're going to do is that show in the elevator for that guy. Johnny doesn't really want to do anything else. He feels that he did it. He built a monument. There it is. I helped him build it, but it's sitting there. He doesn't feel he has to do anything else. He already proved his point. He's happy. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great.